Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is it guys, the final area of the game. Surprisingly, down is not death when you fall through here. Oh, look at that! The timer activated. Oh, well, counter. And once again, our weapons are going to be filtered down to level 1, so it's pointless to uh, power them up ahead of time. Anyway, there's a signpost here. Yeah, that should give you a good idea of what kind of difficulty we're going to be in for at this place. Hopefully it's going to go well. I'm not very good at this place. <laughs> so, let's just begin. Yeah, that timer is a little easter egg that uh, Pixel added into the game for expert speedrunners for this hardest area of the game here. This is known as the Sacred Grounds. Anyway, did you know that the witch woman Jenka, <clears throat> witch woman Jenka once had a brother? His name was Balos. Like his sister, he wielded powers far beyond those of mortals. And the story is going to be told as we go through the sacred grounds. Anyway, I intend on powering up my uh, missile launcher here. There we go, that works for me. And... Uh, now try and destroy these on your way down to get more weapon energy for it. Yeah. By the way, in case you don't realize, I am really conserving my uh, booster here to make sure that I can get through these areas without taking a hit. And there's Curly for whatever reason. I don't know how the heck she got down here. Anyway, he used his magical powers to help and guide people. And the people loved and trusted him in return. Even more than they did their own king. Hmm. Oh, oh. And sure enough, the tow rope is connected and we've got Curly on our side. Let's switch over to the spur just so we can go through this area. This second area of the sacred ground is really annoying. Uh, you've got these flying enemies, they're known as boots or something. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. It's B-U-T-E, well they're flying boots. There's three varieties of these things and they're everywhere. These blocks cause you 10 damage if they hit you. It is an annoying area altogether. Just go very carefully, watch where the blocks are falling. Oh god, see what I mean? I was a little bit too hasty there. The jealous king had Balos apprehended, <clears throat> apprehended and thrown into prison, where his punishment was brutal and cruel. Humans can be terrible creatures indeed. Yes, they can. So basically, the king didn't like Balos because he was loved more than, you know, the king himself. That's pretty selfish of him. Under the extreme cruelty of the torture, Balos's magical abilities finally ran wild. The king was engulfed in the swirl of magic and destroyed in an instant. In a single night, the kingdom that Balos so loved was, was reduced to ashen ruins. Okay, over here, if you've taken a lot of damage, what you can do is go get those hearts, go back up here, Go back down, and you can see where this is going. Recover your health with these hearts like that. Hold on while I recover my health back on over to 55. Oh, by the way, I should mention that that life capsule that I got to uh, increase my health to 55, that was the last life capsule in the entire game. Yes! So, the life capsules have been 100%ed. There's also... One more uh, missile upgrade, a secret missile upgrade that you can get in this area. I'll show you where that is, and then you'll have pretty much 100% of the game. Um, a couple more runs here. I guess I'm not going to cut forward after all. I'm just sort of chatting it up while I'm grinding for health here. Okay, now what you want to do, once you get up to a sufficient uh, enough health here, move on a little bit forward. Go on, trigger this. Here we go. Now shoot all these guys that are coming out from up here, just to prevent yourself from getting hit, hit here. And you notice down there, there is a sword boot. That's a different kind of boot that you've seen before. I'm going to attempt to kill him off if possible. Well, that works. Oh, I should also mention, Curly shoots one direction, you shoot in the other. So this is a new concept of the game. Uh, see that? When you're in midair, she shoots down, you shoot up. When you're on the ground, both of you shoot upwards. Uh, if you shoot down, she shoots up. And you get the idea. It's pretty dang cool, I must say. You know, Pixel just constantly puts new things into the game to keep the game interesting. There's always something new for you to play in each area. Or I should say, some new concept. I, I just love the design of this game. All around. Anyway, as you can see, there's hearts up here if you'd like to collect them. And uh, I'm going to try and barrel through those sword boots, which work pretty well. There we go. Um, I'm going to leave those hearts just in case I need them. Um, 
these are some mesas or mesas, whatever you want to call them, those giant guys. They've got a lot of HP, but your uh, laser here, I just say spur, just chews right through them. That's a delete enemy. Uh, when you shoot them enough times, I think they have like 32 HP or something like that. Last I checked, uh, what'll happen is they'll explode and they'll cause 14 points of damage if anything's near them. Um, uh oh. Look at that, they're coming from both ends, they're coming from both ends! Kill them off! Kill them off! Oh, those delete enemies don't have a very large range, so don't worry about them too much. Uh, you just have to get like, oh shoot, I forgot those spikes are under there. You just have to get so and so far away from them so that you won't take damage. And these are rolling enemies. Uh, they cause quite a bit of damage to you if they hit you, so don't let that happen if it's possible. Just uh, kind of like jump rope over them as you need to. They hug the uh, outer walls. Jenka, seeing her brother's madness, can find him to this floating island. That was the most she could do. Even as she was, she could not bring herself to kill her own brother. So, yep, she loved her own brother, no matter what he did. Even though, you know, she did a pretty good job of protecting this island as best she could. Anyway, clear out the enemies as you go, otherwise you will regret it for sure, because you're going to be rained upon arrows all over the place. Yeah, these are uh, arrow boots, that's the last kind of boot that you can find in the area. Um, let's just see here. I just want, I want to do this strategically without taking too much damage here. Ah, uh, oh, curses! Yeah, those arrows do 8 damage, and that sucks! Uh, but I'm at 54 health still. That's pretty dang good. This is like one of the best runs I've ever had through Sacred Grounds, honestly. I'm playing pretty strategically here. So this is go. Oh, shoot, I forgot those guys spawned. They are trouble. They keep coming. Arrgh! Yeah, they pop out of the ceiling there once you get near that uh, delete enemy up there or pass by this opening, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to attempt to kill off that boot over there. Or, excuse me, Mesa enemy. Mesa. Whatever, <laughs> and I want to go here. That should work out very nicely. I don't think they can shoot me down on this block here. I've always been safe, and I'm at max health, so I'm just gonna ignore them. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, uh oh. Trouble, trouble in paradise, trouble in paradise. Actually, this isn't paradise at all. It's a spiky death pit of horridness that houses the most powerful magic creature or magical guy in the land to uh, seal him away. Oh boy, oh boy, oh no, no, no. Oh, I hate the booster 2.0 so much it scares me to use it. I want to destroy the middle one there because I need to get up to that platform and it's harder to get up there, honestly, from the higher platform than it is the lower one, in my opinion. And would you look at this treasure chest that I just broke open here? The final missile upgrade and it increases it by a whopping. 24, that is a lot. Anyway, go over here. They're gonna start raining from the oh, the heavens over there. It was Jenka's daughter, Misery, who made Balos create the demon crown. She was subsequently cursed by the crown, forced to do the bidding of all who wear it. If the crown is destroyed, the curse is lifted. However, to be continued. And look at these guys, they're everywhere. Holy poopers. I'm gonna get up here. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of damage from them over there. Dang it! Oh boy, oh boy, okay, I'm safe. I think I'm safe for now. Come on, delete, destroy yourself, man. Um, a, a pretty hard boss is coming up here, so charge up your laser. Well, okay, this boss isn't that hard, but it does a lot of damage very quickly. Shoot up yours right in the center when you can. Oh, I missed completely there. Yeah, this is known as heavy press, and it will destroy you if you aren't careful. Uh, well, it's actually mostly because it's got a lot of support from those uh, boot enemies, the flying boot enemies there, as well as the uh, rolling enemies that are flying along the outside. But when you defeat it, be prepared to dodge it falling. And I'm at 8 health. Oh god, this is not going good at all. And... Uh, die, 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 yes! Uh, well, I think I'll be okay. I hope. I'm at 4 health. Anyway, go down here. Oh, would you look at that? We're back over here, and now we can access that door. Even if the crown is destroyed, it will only rise again every time, so long as Balos lives. <clears throat> Such is the strength of his soul that permeates the crown. Anyway, go up to this room here. You remember this room, right? The statue chamber? Look at this. Now you can destroy the statues. 
and get yourself some health, missile upgrades, weapons, and weapon energy, whatever you need to get. You can get it here, and that's pretty awesome, I have to say, but I'm at 10 health. That is not good enough, I don't, I don't think. Anyway, as you see, when you when you destroy them, you change the statues into, uh, quote, Toraco, King, as well as Curly. But we don't care about King all that much. <laughs> he didn't do very much there. Um, if you attempt to go through that door on the other side, I don't believe you can actually go through it. Yeah, it won't open at all. So let's just, just continue on through here and see how things go. This is the corridor. It's a ghost puppy. Please kill my master. That is the only way misery can be freed. The only way to avoid a repetition of this tragedy. My master's name is Balos. His magic powers have gone wild. And now he cannot even die. Alright, here we go. The last area of the game. The last boss of the game is beyond that door. Prepare yourself.